I hope you'll forgive this video being a little bit less uh, arranged than most of my videos. I'm pretty tired, it's quarter past seven um, on Friday night and just finished, well not just finished, I've been back a while now, uh, just finished kind of getting sorted after today's stage. Um, the pros had a, uh, the longest stage in 21 years they gave the pros today. Um, there's that number again, 21 keeps cropping up, 21, um, 2021. 2,100 kilometers, 21,000 meters of climbing. It's all a bit weird. Um, but for the first time in 21 years, these guys, have, poor guys, have had a mammoth stage of 249 kilometers, which works, works out for me to be about 153 kilometers, but it's so damn close to 100 miles that I decided to do 100 miles, which is 161 kilometers. Uh, and there were a few kilometers on top. I think it, was, it worked out to be about 165K um, in the end, which is just over 100 miles. Um, I had Sam Pierce with me, uh, super, uh, super domestic uh, today. Should have had Ian, uh, Ian Muscle with me as well, but he decided to go out for a run last night and tripped over a pothole and has really smashed his leg up. In fact, you'll see a clip of him meeting us on the bike path as part of the route today um, to, to come and say hi um, with his knee all bandaged up. One of the other people that met us on route was David Smith again. He fantastically bought us um, out some water and some sustenance about 100K in more or less to, to kind of top up our water bottles because it was uh, very, very hot out there today. In fact, you can see from the tan lines uh, that it was, it was pretty warm out there today. Um, what else have I got to say today? Uh, so the the route was based off of the last ride that our friend, a friend of mine and a friend of some of my friends, uh, Tristan did. Uh, he passed away sadly last year and um, he'd ridden this route. It was the very last bike route that he'd ridden. And I thought uh, because it fitted the bill in terms of distance, it would be a really good idea to kind of actually uh, go out and ride that exact same route as a as a, um, as a kind of tribute to him, really, and just to, to kind of remember him. It's a hell of a tough day out there. Um, it's just, especially with just the two of us. Um, it was really tricky. Sam did a fantastic job of, of uh, leading me for a lot of the beginning of it, but um, I, over time just kind of got got slowly more tired, both of us did, um, and, and it just became harder as the day went on. But we still managed to average just, I think it was just shy of 26k an hour. And just, you know, considering that Tristan's route went through city centres, on bike paths, on t through railway tunnels, um, on some lovely open roads that I've never ridden on before and I will I will explore um, in the future. But also there was one section along a gravel path um, alongside a canal, which, you know, it was suitable for cross bikes. It was pretty obvious that Tristan had, um, had been a very avid mountain biker back in the day. And um, it was a fantastic way to remember Tristan, me and Sam, uh, you know, telling lots of stories about things that he'd got up to and, and just really the encouragement he'd given us and the, the sort of things he'd done to support us uh, in our endeavors with triathlon. Um, so it was a really lovely way to, to remember Tristan. Anyway, here is the video from today. Bye.
Sam? How are your cyclocross skills? I'm having a word with Tris, but I'll probably put my clogs. <laughs> that, was not, was that? that was not what we'd signed up for, I'll tell you no, what. Absolutely. So that is about it really for uh, today. I'm not sure I can manage to talk about anything else now. I need to go and sit on the sofa and watch the, uh, the Tour de France proper because I actually can't work out what happened today in the tour. People were all over the road. It's like somebody had chucked a grenade into the peloton and stuff's gone everywhere. Uh, Trek Segafredo had a fantastic day. I saw that I think Jasper Stoyven came second. Um, but anyway, I do need to go and watch him, try and figure out what's, what's actually been going on with it. So tomorrow, um, we start going into the mountains a bit more, so everything's over a thousand meters of climbing now, but the stages are a lot shorter. Uh, so 93 kilometers tomorrow, and then 90 kilometers the day after, but um, a lot more elevation, which uh, isn't my um, isn't my forte, as you've probably worked out by now. So they're gonna be a tough couple of days. Um, I'll be interested to see what happens in the actual tour um, with the climbing as well. Looking forward to a rest day on Monday now. And I also need to call uh, another one of my teammates in the final week, because it sounds like he may have, may have had a problem as well. Well, they are dropping like flies at the minute with COVID uh, and multiple crashes and all sorts of things going on with people um, having to pull out, which is just one of those things. It's one of those things I've kind of got to get my head around and try and work out the way around it. Anyway, that is it for today and I will see you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching as ever. And if you haven't donated already, go to the Just Giving link because I want to hit that 10 grand before I ride into Bristol on stage 21. Have a good uh, evening uh, because it's 20 past seven here, but it'll be tomorrow morning. Have a good day for you guys because this will be going live tomorrow and I will see you uh, at the end of tomorrow's stage uh, when we go up Bur uh, Broccoli, Burrington and Cheddar Gorge tomorrow. So hopefully get some good footage. Have a good, have a good evening, day. Have a good, have a good time. Yeah, goodbye.